Welcome back to the Circuit Playground Express online workshop. In this section, we're going to learn about infrared transmitting and receiving on the Circuit Playground Express. So we'll create a simple sketch where when we push a button on the board, it'll transmit an infrared signal that another Circuit Playground will receive and play a rainbow animation. So at the center of every Circuit Playground Express, we have a small infrared LED and a small infrared receiver. So when we want to transmit an infrared signal from on board, we create a command and we can send any number through make code over infrared. And the circuit playground encodes that into a series of pulses of infrared light. And the receiving circuit playground measures the duration of the pulse between, the duration of time that passes between each pulse and then decodes it back into whatever number you sent. So even if you're going to send just the number one, the circuit playground is going to send 52 pulses of light, infrared light, and then the receiving circuit playground is going to decode that back into the number one. And all this happens in just a fraction of a second. So let's take a look at it in make code. Under the network option, we have our infrared commands, which is the infrared send and infrared receive. So the simplest way to use infrared is just with a button click. So when we click the button, we'll send the number zero, which is the default number, but you can enter any decimal number that you'd like in there, or you can even send a color for LEDs because that's, uh, that's stored as a number as well. So we also have the infrared receive option, which is what we use to turn on the receiver to look for signals for in infrared. And whenever we receive a number in the infrared, it's going to store it as the variable number by default. And we can change the variable, but we'll stick with number for now. So it stores it as the variable, and then we can use that variable, like I have here, uh, in some logic to create a command when we have a signal. So you can, that allows you to receive any any number of of different numbers, if I may, to to have different actions within your code. So when I but push button A, it sends a zero. When it receives when it receives a signal, it checks to see if that signal is a zero, and then if it is, it plays an animation for two seconds. So let's take a look again. When I press the button on one board, the other board receives it and it plays a rainbow animation. And with this code that I have loaded, it could sit, you could both send in receive from both boards. You're not limited to doing one on one action on one and one action on the other. So that wraps up how to use the infrared transmitting and receiving. There's a lot of potential within with that system. You can even communicate with household devices over infrared. Um, but this is the easiest way to do it from circuit playground to circuit playground. Stick around in the next section. We're going to learn about how to turn your circuit playground into a keyboard or a mouse.